World Economic Forum's 54th meeting got concluded recently and there were a lot of debates and discussions around artificial intelligence. Generative AI, artificial intelligence, AI, artificial intelligence, AI and Gen AI. Government officials from the US, Middle East, company CEOs, some of the top organizations, CEO of IBM, CEO of Tech Mahindra, CEO of Accenture, a lot of these CEOs and also some from the computing world such as Qualcomm's, all these guys have unique unanimously agreed that artificial intelligence is not a hype anymore. It is actually going to transform the way we live and also we conduct business. Now, as employees, we actually are dependent and our lives are getting much simpler because of the salaries we draw. And if these employment conditions and situations change because of AI, we need to understand this topic. And Davos 2024 was all about artificial intelligence. In this conversation, we will talk about how AI is impacting or rather how we should be thinking about AI from three different perspectives. Number one, how individuals like you and me should be thinking about AI. Number two, how companies are thinking about AI, the big corporations. And number three, how government officials are thinking about AI. So let's start with the first one, which is individuals. How do you and I tackle AI? According to the CEO of IBM, he very clearly quoted a data point which says the half-life of any skill was usually 30 years, which means you learn something and it was applicable for a good portion of 30 years, but not anymore. The current half-life of skills is approximately seven years. Imagine you are in the first year of undergrad. By the time you have three years work experience, whatever you have learned is definitely out of context or it is useless. That is how fast the world is changing. And in this context, the CEO of Accenture, she very clearly told that there is one question that they ask every new employee or in every single interview. That is, what did you learn in the last six months? When the world around us is changing so fast, when the skills that we need to learn are getting irrelevant once every seven years, that continuous learning is the one thing which organizations will continue to assess every single individual on. So please make sure that you are on that continuous learning path, irrespective of how much salary you draw. Because AI is one of the first technologies which is impacting the white collar workforce, that is the people who work on a desk or who are getting paid a lot of money to do computer based jobs. And this technology is going to impact the way the white collar workforce is doing the work and also how they are going to do the work in the near future. The second skill which is considered to be important for all the individuals is the critical thinking. Well, when AI is projected to change a lot of jobs in the white collar workforce, critical thinking could be the differentiator between how you can continue to work along with AI rather than getting replaced with it. Again, this is not me speaking, but the CEO of IBM. The third important element in this entire conversation for the individuals is the technology quotient. It is not just about handling a laptop or it is not just about, hey, can you work well with your smartphone or a laptop anymore? Are you really equipped with the Gen AI 101? You need to know the basics of technology. Doesn't really matter if you are working in HR, you are working in finance, doesn't matter which domain or industry. You need to build that basic technology quotient. I am giving few links in the description box where you can go ahead, continue to learn the basics of artificial intelligence. And I hope that would be a great starting point. And these courses are available for free. Now, moving on, what is the impact of AI going to be on governments and how governments are thinking about artificial intelligence. Well, the minister from UAE very clearly mentioned that typically government have one single reaction to any of these new technologies. That is put a red tape around it and say a lot of regulations around it so that not many people can use it. Because if governments start using AI, a lot of people would say, hey, government is now taking out jobs from the economy. So the minister from UAE very clearly mentioned that they have started using AI for some low hanging fruits in making sure that the, the life quality improves in UAE. Such low hanging fruits, which are non-controversial, are something where the governments are starting. And almost all the governments around the world are talking about not just AI, they are talking about responsible AI. Did you ever think about responsible computer? 
or responsible cloud. No, they were just machines which were doing the work for us. But now, with respect to artificial intelligence, we are also thinking about responsible AI. What are the ethics around it? What do we teach to the next generations about how to leverage AI? And these conversations are being bought on by the government officials. And also, a lot of governments are not ready to just partner with big companies because then they are giving the entire control to these companies. They are starting to build their own initiatives. The third one is with respect to the companies. What are companies doing in this space? This could be interesting because you might be the one looking to get a job in one of these companies. Tech Mahindra, Wipros have mentioned that they are trying to train almost everybody on Gen AI 101. And they believe that they are probably six to eight months out with respect to getting clients into Gen AI projects. Now, these companies are not thinking about artificial intelligence as a point solution. For example, implement AI so that your call center, customer center operations are improving. No, they are trying to implement these AI technology in such a way that the entire industry itself is transformed. Tech Mahindra CEO very clearly told how they are trying to implement AI in the telecommunication sector. How can they improve the network strengths? How can they improve the product? And also how can they improve the customer contact? It is all interrelated and AI is now entering into the ecosystem for each industry. That is how they are thinking about it. And on top of it, they are also saying that the employee productivity is going up. Of course, nobody talks about the jobs being replaced. But when we say the productivity of employees is increasing, what does it mean? It means a lot of job cuts could be on the way. It is not just about the jobs being taken away, but a lot of new jobs are also being added into the economy. But with a simple caveat that the folks who are getting trained are the ones who will be in the system. If somebody is not getting trained or if somebody is ignoring AI, they might not be able to continue their growth in the AI driven world going forward. Please go ahead, do share this video because these are some of the facts that world leaders are talking today on some of the biggest stages around the world. Thank you so much guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.